All right, crew, I, w I wanted to update you guys on what I thought about the new RTX A6000 from NVIDIA and how it runs in Visualize specifically. And this is probably one of the most expensive GPUs I've ever put in my computer. And then also probably the highest end CPU I've ever used throughout my career. So there, I mean, there's a lot to this, but, uh, but my, my two concerns are one, how does visual, how does, how does the RTX A6000 handle in SOLIDWORKS? And then how does it work in visualize? And so far for the last two and a half months, no complaints. Everything is spot on. In fact, I in fact I've been able to help some customers diagnose some problems with maybe their hardware or their setup, just because I had enough hardware to open up their files. Uh, so anyway, let's just jump into Visualize and take a look. All right. So here I have my um, my task manager up, so you can see that I'm running the RTX A6000, and specifically I've gone through and I've monitored the um, the CUDA cores, right? Because that's the actual thing that's being used inside of Visualize. A lot of people say, well, how come, uh, you know, I just got this brand new GPU and I'm only using 20% of it. Even in an active render, I may be only using, you know, 50, 60% of it, like what's going on. But if you turn on the CUDA core, you really see where it's working. It's leveraging all those CUDA cores there for you and uh, and rendering things as fast as it can here. Um, a couple other things you should notice too is that how much RAM it's using. Uh, 7.8 gigs of RAM. This is a relatively small file, so that's kind of like what I expect. Larger files take more RAM. That's just the way it is. More more topology, more tessellation, and so on. So um, so at a first look, we got a lot of things going in on this file. We got uh, you know lots of different appearances. I wanted to go through and look at my different lights. I have my scenes active. Um, my camera. Uh, I don't think we need to turn on Bloom, but I think under under scenes rather. We should look at um, floor effects. We should turn those on. So, um, what what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reset this guy here just real quick, and we're gonna look and see how long it takes for us to get a good render. Here we got about 18 passes. We're getting about oh a pass every yeah you know, like five passes. So it no up to 10 passes now per second. Um, denoiser is kicked in and I would say this model actually looks good here. Let's stop it I'm gonna pause it here real quick like this is all that we needed to make this model look good So about 240 passes. It looked pretty good uh, You can see how it was using the GPU how the CUDA cores are being processed um, the, and the temperature of my GPU and uh, All in all like, you know, just just running visualize running SOLIDWORKS I haven't had any crashes. Everything's been really smooth, really slick. Um, I, on a mental note, I wasn't able to run or use the RTX cards until Service Pack 3 2021 because there were some driver issues, so it didn't actually recognize my device, my RTX device, as a GPU until then. So I've, I've only been able to use it since Service Pack 3 came out. So even though I've had it for since, you know, I don't know, March or something, um, I've only been able to use it for like the last two months um, and, and really happy. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, NVIDIA always puts out a great product. They're really expensive, unfortunately, and, and RTX A6000 is really expensive, but <clears throat> you do get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, now, don't let the cost detour you, right? Because there's also the RTX A4000 and the A5000 that just released this month that, that should become available pretty quickly. And those might be more cost-effective solutions for you. In fact, if you're not using, if you're not opening up these massive files, um, like I don't really even use massive files myself personally, but my customers do, so I have to have these things. Um, then an RTX 4000 might be a great, a great uh, GPU for you. Um, if your files are a little bit or a little bit on the heavier side, right, and, and there's you know just maybe a little bit more to them, then maybe you jump up to the RTX A5000, which I think has 24 gigs of RAM, 16 or 24. And and that's that's a lot, and that's that's a lot that's a lot for that's that's usually enough for a lot of people, but if you just want to have the biggest, baddest, greatest thing out there, then that's going to be the RTX A six thousand. So just to full full circle this thing, um, been testing uh, the RTX A six thousand inside of SolidWorks and Visualize for the last two months. Haven't had any problems, no driver issues, no funny, you know, visual display things. Like everything is working exactly as it should. 
runs like a champ. Have, have haven't had any SolidWorks crashes, and I've been working on some files that are kind of a pain in the rear, um, but nonetheless handled it like a champ. Uh, with Visualize, again, no complaints. The I guess the biggest negative with Visualize is that this fan, because it's a blower type fan, um, gets loud. Sometimes you can hear it. You might be able to hear it in this recording. And when I'm working on SolidWorks and Visualize, you know, my GPU heats up and it heats up my little room. But I wouldn't really call that a negative. That's more like a side effect, right? Having a smaller room. So that's my take on um, NVIDIA's new RTX A6000 or A series in general. I think they're they're a great bang for the buck. You should look out for them. Um, time to upgrade. If the time to upgrade is now, those are the ones you want to get. A4000, A5000, A6000. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Again, my name is Adam Hughes. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.